Before we dive into the declaration, it's imperative to at first fathom what nuclear fuel pedals truly are. The Enormous Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN, is a 17-meter ring made from superconducting magnets. It stays the world's greatest and most pivotal molecule smasher, addressing the pinnacle of human achievement. As a matter of fact, it is strong to the point that it can imitate the specific conditions of the universe's earliest minutes. Anyway, could the machine that expects to uncover the insider facts of the universe conceivably hold the way to something truly excellent? Established in 1954, CERN is one of the most prestigious exploration foundations overall, with 23 part nations and various researchers. It fills in as a center for joint effort and development. While the LHC is CERN's essential task, it is just a piece of a huge organization of molecule gas pedals and trial concentrates. This framework is planned not so much for motors or people, but rather for subatomic particles, expert examining the actual texture of space itself. The LHC speeds up protons near the speed of light, guiding them into an impact course that reflects the energy delivered during the Big Bang. These crashes create temperatures far more sizzling than the sun's center. A gigantic exhibit of magnets directs the protons on their way, while cutting-edge cooling frameworks keep up with the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The pillars in the LHC are made to crash at four particular focuses across the gas pedal ring, communicating with four explicit part molecule identifiers, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each has an exceptional capability, concentrating on various parts of molecule physical science. Together, they go about as monster cameras, catching pictures of these crashes. Researchers then analyze the subsequent particles, looking for proof of the slippery Higgs boson, otherwise called the God particle, and different irregularities that could reveal insight into the central functions of the universe. By zeroing in on the minuscule, we opened bits of knowledge into the macrocosmic world. Yet with each answer, new inquiries emerge. With each revelation, another test surfaces. The LHC isn't simply a logical instrument. It is an image of human interest and progress. It addresses our persistent mission for understanding and our longing to open the major powers that oversee our universe. Anyway, as we push the limits of our insight, we should likewise defy further existential inquiries. What risks lie in testing the obscure? Might our journey for information at any point accidentally release powers unchangeable as far as we might be concerned? Inside CERN, where the restrictions of human comprehension are ceaselessly extended, a chilling disclosure has surfaced, making even the most experienced researchers stop. Brian Cox, a previous CERN researcher and a conspicuous voice in the domain of molecule physical science, as of late said something that has both dazzled and disrupted the world. His words resounded with agitating clearness. The reason for CERN's LHC is to reenact a smaller than normal Big Bang. Yes, you heard that accurately, a small-scale rendition of the very occasion that birthed our universe. The physicist additionally expounded on the ramifications of this objective, highlighting the LHC's tremendous potential to make momentous revelations, including divulging the insider facts of the Higgs boson and digging into the perplexing domain of dim matter, which is a critical part of the universe. Imagine getting a handle on the force of creation, the capacity to tackle the actual quintessence of the universe. It's a captivating chance, yet one full of hazard. The smaller than normal Big Bang is definitely not a hypothetical idea. It's a substantial reality within the LHC. The outrageous temperatures, tensions, and crude energy reproduce the circumstances present at the introduction of the universe. It's like remaining on the edge of written history, seeing the beginning of presence itself. Yet, with such power comes extraordinary obligation, and the squeezing question remains, imagine a scenario where something veers off track. Truth be told, something turned out badly in 1978. Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky encountered a mishap that would everlastingly modify his life. While working at the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Proino, Russia, a glitch caused a proton shaft to hit him. The bar, with impossible power, went through his skull, entering the rear of his head and leaving through his nose. His experience was frightening. He saw a blaze brighter than 1,000 suns but felt no quick agony. The proton's way resulted in a path of obliteration, copying tissue and bone. Yet, amazingly, he stayed cognizant and, surprisingly, strolled to look for therapy. The result was both agitating and dreamlike. The proton bar caused confined tissue harm, prompting halfway hearing misfortune in one ear and facial loss of motion on one side. 
Strikingly, Bugorsky's mental capacities stayed in one piece, and he proceeded with his vocation in medication. This occurrence fills in as an obvious sign of the colossal influence and potential perils inborn in molecule gas pedals. The dangers related with machines like the LHC ought to be acknowledged calmly. The chance of horrendous responses, where the actual texture of reality is changed, isn't the stuff of sci-fi, but a certifiable concern voiced by regarded researchers. One of the most chilling and entrancing issues encompassing the LHC's examinations is the possible production of a smaller-than-usual black hole. Black holes are locales in space where gravity is serious to such an extent that not even light can get away. These grandiose vacuums eat up stars and are baffling elements sneaking in the shadows of our universe. The likelihood that the LHC could deliver one of these peculiarities, even on a little, restricted scale, is both a moving and startling concept for people in general and researchers alike. Might this black hole at any point grow wildly and at last consume the Earth from inside? Specific researchers have consoled the public that any black hole made by the LHC would be shaky and would vanish immediately. Still, the remote chance of such an occasion has ignited discusses, fears, and wonder at the influence humanity employs. It's vital to comprehend how the LHC could make a black hole. The response lies in the basic mechanics of molecule gas pedals. When protons crash at close to light speeds, the energy produced is monstrous to such an extent that it contorts the actual texture of spacetime. Imagine a trampoline stretched, and then a weighty item dropped onto it. The texture bends, and if the item is weighty enough, it makes a well deep enough to attract anything close by. This serves as an analogy for what could occur inside the LHC. In the domain of quantum physical science, where the laws of the universe are many times capricious and phenomenal, a speculation exists suggesting there might be hidden aspects inside our universe. If these aspects truly do exist, the LHC's tests could take advantage of them, creating a gravitational well that forms a little black hole. This curious cooperation of particles has even caught the attention of unmistakable researchers, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his compositions, Hawking cautioned of the possible risks of the Higgs boson at extremely high energy levels. Such flimsiness could prompt a disastrous occasion. Hawking conjectured that if the Higgs boson were weakened at outrageous energy levels, it could make a vacuum decay situation. In such a case, the universe, as we probably are aware, could change to a lower energy state, generally changing the laws of physical science. This horrendous chain reaction could echo through space-time at the speed of light, clearing out everything in its way. While this idea could seem like the stuff of tragic sci-fi, Hawking's preventative words mirror the fine harmony between revelation and risk that accompanies investigating the universe's most key structure. Indeed, the LHC has proactively made historic disclosures, for example, affirming the presence of the Higgs boson in 2012, a fantastic accomplishment that approved the standard model of molecule physical science. Anyway, with every revelation, the LHC has likewise opened ways to deeper secrets, for example, the idea of dim matter and the chance of additional aspects. Dim matter, which is remembered to represent around 27% of the universe's complete mass and energy, stays perhaps of the best riddle in physical science. The LHC's trials aim to uncover whether this imperceptible substance connects with common matter, potentially opening secrets about the universe's secret design. As weighty as these disclosures might be, the potential dangers can't be disregarded. One of the most charming yet concerning conceivable outcomes is the formation of stable strangelets, hypothetical particles comprised of odd quarks. These strangelets could, in theory, change over conventional matter into odd matter, setting off a horrendous chain reaction. While this situation is absolutely hypothetical, it has provoked banters about the moral obligations of chasing after high-energy tests. In spite of these worries, CERN continues to move forward, driven by humanity's voracious curiosity and desire to comprehend the universe. The association has implemented thorough security measures and led broad risk evaluations to guarantee that examinations at the LHC stay safe. According to CERN's safety report, the likelihood of any horrendous occasion, like the production of a steady black hole or strangelet, is imperceptibly small. Yet, the anxiety toward the obscure waits as researchers recognize that how we might interpret the universe is still deficient. The strain between logical desire and existential risk isn't remarkable to CERN. Since forever ago, humanity has wrestled with the results of innovative headways. The improvement of thermal power, for instance, brought both monstrous contribution and decimating potential. Comparably, the
The LHC remains as an image of both expectation and wariness, a demonstration of human creativity and an indication of our obligation to use knowledge carefully. As the LHC continues to test the secrets of the universe, one thing is sure. Its disclosures will shape how we might interpret the universe for a long time into the future. Whether it uncovers proof of extra dimensions, opens up new realms of particle physics, or reveals the true nature of dark matter, the discoveries made by the LHC will undoubtedly have a profound impact on humanity's understanding of the universe. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of existence, we are confronted with the duality of our own pursuit of knowledge, the unyielding desire to push the boundaries of what we know, and the inherent dangers that lie in tampering with the unknown. The LHC, with all its power and potential, is not just a scientific tool. It is a mirror reflecting our curiosity, ambition, and caution. In the end, the exploration of the universe, whether through particle accelerators like the LHC or other means, reminds us of both the vastness and the fragility of the cosmos. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding the fundamental forces that shape our reality, but it also forces us to question the very nature of existence itself. As we stand on the precipice of these revelations, it is up to us to balance the quest for knowledge with the responsibility that comes with wielding such powerful tools. The journey ahead is uncertain, filled with both promise and peril. But one thing is certain, the quest to understand the universe is far from over. The LHC, as an emblem of human ingenuity, will continue to be at the forefront of this journey, guiding us toward new horizons of discovery and challenging us to confront the deepest questions of existence. As the LHC continues to push the boundaries of human understanding, it also serves as a reminder of our place in the vast, cosmic scale. The discoveries made within its tunnels are not just academic, they hold the potential to fundamentally alter our perception of the universe and our role within it. Every experiment, every collision, and every finding opens up new avenues of exploration, leading to more questions than answers. Moreover, the LHC is not just a singular project in the pursuit of knowledge. It is part of a larger, collaborative effort by scientists around the world who, regardless of nationalities or backgrounds, are united by the shared goal of uncovering the mysteries of existence. It is this global spirit of cooperation that has allowed humanity to reach new heights in science and technology. In many ways, the LHC represents the pinnacle of collective human endeavor, an achievement that, though fraught with challenges and risks, has the potential to unlock the most profound secrets of the universe. But while the scientific community celebrates these milestones, there remains a larger societal question. How do we, as a species, responsibly manage the discoveries and technologies that we develop? The LHC stands at the crossroads of human curiosity and existential caution. It symbolizes our ambition to understand, but it also forces us to confront the unknown consequences of that understanding. As researchers continue their experiments and analyze the data from the LHC, the world watches with a mixture of awe and apprehension. The possibility that the LHC could make groundbreaking. Discoveries, such as finding evidence of extra dimensions, solving the mysteries of dark matter, or uncovering entirely new forces of nature, has the potential to reshape our understanding of physics and our place in the cosmos. But with every discovery, the responsibility grows. We must ask ourselves, what happens when we push the limits of knowledge too far? What happens if we unlock a power we aren't fully prepared to understand or control? These questions may sound abstract, but they are rooted in the very real, very tangible work that scientists are doing every day at CERN. Ultimately, the pursuit of knowledge must be tempered with wisdom. As we continue to explore the deepest corners of the universe, it is essential that we do so with the understanding that some questions may be better left unanswered, for now. The LHC may not hold all the answers, but it has certainly shown humanity that there is still so much left to discover, and that the universe is far more mysterious and complex than we could ever have imagined. In the years to come, the LHC will no doubt continue to surprise and challenge us, and it will remain a powerful symbol of human curiosity. But the deeper we venture, the more we must remember the responsibilities that come with the knowledge we seek. After all, the journey to understanding is as much about the questions we ask as it is about the answers we find.